is gonna be my day of lean bulking, how many calories I eat and everything. But right now we just finished jujitsu. We're gonna put the hand wraps on. I got my dad coming in to do maybe five to 10 rounds of some pads. Got a super, super busy day, so I'm gonna bring you through it. Before we jump into it guys, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you guys do know when the videos do drop. This channel is really for you guys. I really built it to kind of share my experiences, the faults that I learned, all the little mistakes I made growing up from the bro science to actually learning the real science and studying it in school and then applying it into myself, into my daily life, into my daily routine, into my training regimen. So yeah, give this a like and let's start the day. This is a little break from the vlog that's happening right now of how to lean bulk. When I was going through the footage after the day ended, I realized that something bugged out in the camera and I lost a lot of little parts of the footage throughout the day. And I didn't want to trash the video because I still want to hit this topic and I wanted to make it into a fun vlog as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth between tips that were like missed out along with the vlog. So this is a little break, but back to the vlog from yesterday. Dentist is done, and now we are currently rushing to the athletic therapy. Um, there's like a thing in Montreal that we do, it's called Born to Run. It's where a whole bunch of athletic therapists all over Montreal come meet up and have a lot of fun, uh, like games and a whole bunch of stuff like that. So we're rushing there right now really quickly while driving with no hands, because clearly I have one hand on the camera, the other hand holding the shaker bottle. Just to tell you guys what my first meal is gonna be. So we got ghost pancake vegan uh, protein pea powder. I put two, two and a half scoops, so we got like roughly 50, 50 grams of protein in here, and then I put a cup and a half of uh, coconut milk, and that's pretty much gonna be my meal until I hit up internship. This is all I'm gonna have, so I just wanna show you guys breaking the fast with this, and that's it. All right, so back to today. Tip one is gonna be for you guys to set your calories throughout the week, dependent on I'm a little stuffed up, dependent on your energy expenditure for that day. So you got your total daily energy expenditure, and then when you get that number of how much you need to maintain that weight that you have, you're gonna add two to 300 calories to that number. So this is kind of just a little example. So sometimes during the week when I have a lot of training and I'm busy and I'm constantly moving, I burn up to about 5,300 calories, 5,500 calories. So I consume 5,008. On a midday, again, maybe that's like one workout and some mobility work or two workouts, really just depends. I'll go to 5,000 calories and on my low days where I don't really train, I just have active mobility, but I'm still walking and doing a little bit of hikes, I go to 4,003 to 4,500 calories. The reason why I say that is because I see a lot of people when they want to bulk, they're like, you know what, this is how much I'm burning on this particular day and I'm gonna eat this many calories every single day. But every single day you aren't burning as many calories as you would the previous day or the week before. So having days throughout the week where you know that this is a high day, this is a medium day, this is a low day, it's really gonna help you gauge your calories. And that allows me to always stay just a little bit above how much I burnt that day. Uh, there's so many Fitbits and tools to figure out like how much you're burning throughout the day and how much you're burning through workouts. I use Polar's M600 watch, so that's how I gauge what I'm using. When you're trying to lean bulk, we're not trying to eat in a massive excess here. We're trying to eat just a little bit above surplus to allow us to put on that muscle mass without allowing us to gain as much fat as we would if we were just to eat blinded and go throughout the week bulking and eating pizza and this and that. It's, it's not an excuse, you should still eat healthy. You have more leeway of getting in more of those not processed foods that aren't great for you because you're bulking, but still the main bulk, 80% to 90% of your foods should be clean, just in excess and in a surplus so you can put on that mass. We made it guys. 
Everyone here is an AT. Hi. <laughs> so, I'm so cute. Hi. So we made it. We got our little pack. Got. <laughs> what's in here? Let's see what's in here. Show them. Show the people. Is there a pocket mask? No. Match, no. Oh wow, that's actually pretty Isn't solid. Nice? Wow. Look at all this stuff. Yo, even the blankets? Yeah. Damn. Wait, there's a blanket? Yeah. It's pretty solid. Nice. I think right now everyone's just setting up, signing in, and then we're gonna start soon. So we are team superheroes in training. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how we do today. <laughs> It's definitely a bittersweet event, um, but it's so great to see all of you in such great This is definitely one of our biggest years yet. We had 150 people pre-registered pre for the event, so that's more than we've ever had. We started off with maybe 70 people in this event. We were all here celebrating games, celebrating this legacy, um, and so nibbling on something. I got a banana. I have the cucumber and peppers as you guys saw and I also got some ghost BCAAs and essential amino acids about right there. So I'm gonna have that while I'm on my way to internship because I'm kind of rushing right now a little late. Uh, but we're gonna go over tip number two for today's car ride and tip number two honestly guys for me is having a plan. So having a plan writing your starting point, having a midpoint, and having an end goal, guys. Writing out a little graph like this. Having this graph is gonna allow you guys to really just stay consistent and to really keep you on track and keep you accountable to make sure that you're going after the goals that you want. Let's say if for the next four months you wanna put on as much mass as you can within a lean bulk following those parameters and halfway through you haven't reached your goal. Well, then it's a chance for you to kind of sit back down, relook at your graph, and relook at the stats you've been putting in. Are you getting in those many calories? Are you not? Are you missing a little bit of, I don't know, your volume training isn't enough? It's a great way to really just help you guys figure out what's missing within the program that you made, with that, within the, the whole scheme that you created for yourself to allow you to do this lean bulk. I use a couple of apps I'm gonna share with you guys right now. I'm gonna put them in the link below. I have weight drop. I found personally I wasn't as consistent as writing it down because in the morning I like to answer a lot of emails and everything so I have my phone with me. I just put in my weight for the day and then I'm good to go and it allows me to kind of keep track. It's called weight drop. And it really like allows you guys to follow your stats, right? So you can put a goal weight here, you can put your goal right now. So you type in the square at the top, it allows you to plug in your weight. And then if you always want to check out your stats, you can go to stats and it really just allows you to see 
every weigh-ins, how you're doing. Now when it comes to calories and counting calories, and maybe that's the issue where you're not going in that little bit of surplus or you think you are, but you're probably not because you're eyeballing it. Now I personally do eyeball my food like 100%. I don't write everything down because I've done it for so long and I find just personally it's not really like great when you want to go out with friends and everything and there's other things you can do to really just figure it out. But what I do recommend is really writing it down. I kind of like contradict myself. Write it down for at least a week because within a week you guys are going to eat a spectrum of foods from fruits, veggies, legumes, grains, rice, potatoes. You're gonna eat everything that you normally would throughout your day. People usually eat the same things within a week. There's no way you're gonna deviate that much. So within a week, you'll get a good idea of how much of the different foods you're eating, how much calories are in a banana or in a cup of rice. You're gonna have an idea of how much is in everything. So that when you look at a plate, you could kind of eyeball it and figure out if you are in a surplus or maybe you're lacking or maybe you're just at maintenance. So personally using apps like Chronometer, which, are, which is on a laptop, so that's a really good one. And then MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal I think is like the number one app that everyone pretty much has on their phone. What I do like about Chron Chronometer, if you guys don't have that one, it allows you to, it breaks down everything from carbs to fats to micronutrients. Uh, in the protein section, I'll tell you those nine essential amino acids and the 20 that we usually consume, they're gonna tell you which foods you're consuming are giving you those percentages. So it's like a really in-depth breakdown, way more than my fitness style. But pick which either one you want. I like to do both. It just gives me an idea to make sure that I'm getting in enough vitamin D and A and C and it really just breaks down everything for you. So I like to use those two, uh, those two apps. Have a schedule, count everything down so you keep yourself accountable to know what you're doing to get to your goal. All right, back to the vlog. We just made it. And I'm changing my clothes so I look professional. <laughs> I want to show you guys the meal that I'm gonna have while I'm working. So, cause I'm not gonna bring the camera with me. A large avocado. I made some morning oats that I never ate. Uh, we got a scoop of Sun Warriors chocolate blend, maca powder, cinnamon, blueberries, walnuts and goji berries but right now we're gonna rush try to pack on and i'll see you guys in a bit all righty now we're back in mikasa after an insanely long day and we are about to eat you guys just saw the food let's go through exactly what we're going to be consuming along with tip number three for lean bulking we got a chocolate banana date cinnamon coconut milk and that's it smoothie in here i put about three bananas with four dates and we got two of those, so I got another one right there. In the bowl, I have two bowls. This is gonna be the first one I'm gonna consume. I cooked a total of one cup of quinoa. Then for the veggie side where I did the stir fry, a frozen pack of cauliflower, carrots, and green peas mix. We put 150 grams of white mushrooms. We put three cups of spinach which you guys could kind of see like in there. And we put one can of black beans. These two right here, they're kind of drenched in homemade ketchup and mustard, along with two tomatoes. It's the Beyond Meat Burgers. I don't usually consume this. And I've never really had them before. I thought, why not give them a try? Why not taste test them? But my tip number three for you guys is weight training. A whole bunch of ways you guys can do this. I'm gonna give you guys what I've personally done and what worked for me and what I've suggested to other people and it worked for them as well. Wanna try to hit your muscle groups definitely once a week, but at least twice a week with a set goal at the end of the week of 10 to 20 sets uh, per muscle group. Now you can choose any way to kind of break that down. There's push pull legs, there's upper body, uh, upper body, lower body, and then a day off, and you guys could just go in between that. There's full body workouts, and then there's what I've kind of started doing, and I, I like it a lot more, is a full body workout, but with like a specific muscle group that I'm trying to target. So let's say for me, today is full body day, I'll do my 
my four to five sets for that, let's say chest group. And then let's say today is my back day specifically. So for that day, I'll make sure that I get another, maybe two to three different exercises specifically for my back, but I'm at least doing one exercise for each of my body parts. That's way I'm, that way I'm stimulating it. Now, whether I wanna follow these other means or I wanna do supersets or I wanna do pyramid sets, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, that's really up to you, but staying within that range is what you want. Now, when it comes to the rep range, you guys can stay anywhere between three to six sets if you're following like a strength protocol, or you could do six to 15 reps if you're trying to stay within that hypertrophy range. Now, with the split that I've been doing, I go uh, from as low as four reps to as high as 15 reps, and I kind of do like a big pyramid set where I'm hitting uh, each muscle group of six to seven sets, and there's a drop sit in there and there's power and strength and hypertrophy, but that's like a whole thing. I could go into that if you guys want. You guys put it in the comments below if you kind of want to know what my split is. But that's generally what you want to do for the weight training part of it. That's going to be tip number three. My last step for you guys to end this vlog of how to lean bulk. Anything, I think right now you guys should like go down below and comment what you think it is. What is step four, guys? What would it be? What do you think? And I'm sure you guys hear it time and time and time again. C O N S Cons. What do you think the rest is, guys? Come on, come on, come on. There we go, yes. Consistent. Putting in the work and being consistent with step number one, two, and three. Putting your time in the gym and making sure that you're hitting those muscle groups. Uh, following your calendar, making sure that you're writing everything in, that you're doing your weigh-in checks, that you're making sure that you're progressing towards the goal that you want. Step number one, making sure that you're hitting those calories or if you missed the amount that you needed that day, make it up somewhere else. I personally like to take pictures. It's not for myself or to show off. Honestly, I always look back at them and see, is it going up? Do I see changes here? Do I see something here? If you want to be that intense and you want to measure, if you want to measure your biceps, if you want to measure your chest and see if it's growing, I don't want to do that. So I personally just visual, I take pictures, I look and I have my charts, I have my app and I'm following everything. I'm staying consistent as I can. You guys are deciding that you want this goal. So keep that. That's what's igniting this fire. This is what's starting this journey that you guys wanna go on. This is why you're looking at this video and wanna know the steps to it. This is what you chose to do. So if you have a day where you're feeling off, no, fucking cut that off. You gotta stay consistent. If you need more motivation, I post a whole bunch on Instagram. Link is down below, you guys can go follow that. Sorry for the weird back and forth between the vlog and this. I can't really do anything about losing all the footage or most of the footage anyways. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, down below the first link, you guys are gonna have my website that's launching the 1st of June. I wanna help as much as I can and signing up to the email list, you're gonna get the benefit where other people won't because I'm gonna be posting stuff there and sending you guys direct emails to your mailbox that I won't really be sharing much or I might touch upon in a story but not go in depth as I will in the email list. So that's the benefit that you guys have along with all the extra exclusive deals, the discount codes and everything else that's gonna come along with that. But as always, it's your boy, that's it Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow. Me, peace. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out.